Do you know how to find a slope of a line if you're given two points? That's what we're learning in today's lesson. The given line passes through the points negative 2, negative 1, and 4, 3. We will use the letter M to calculate for the slope. And the slope M can be solved using rise over run. Rise over run is the same thing as the change in the Y values divided by the change in the X values. Our Y value here are negative 1 and positive 3. From negative 1 to positive 3, y went up by 4. Now from negative 2 to positive 4, the x value increased by 6. Or you can do 3 minus negative 1 for the change in y, which is 4. And for the x, 4 minus negative 2, that is 6. So the change in y is 4, the change in x is 6, and in simplest fraction, that is 2 thirds. So the slope of this line is 2 thirds. Given the ordered pairs x1, y1, and x2, y2, the official formula to calculate for the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. There are four types of slope. If the graph is increasing from left to right, there is a positive slope. If the graph is decreasing from left to right, the slope is negative. If the graph is horizontal, the slope is zero. And if the graph is a vertical line, the graph is undefined or no slope. Here are the six examples. Find the slope of the line given the two points. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Example number 1. 19, negative 2 and negative 11, 10. Our first pair is our x1 and y1. The second pair is x2 and y2. To calculate for the slope m, we will use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And now we will substitute. Our y2 is 10 minus y1 is negative 2. Divide by x2 is negative 11 minus x1 is 19. Simplifying this, 10 minus negative 2 is the same thing as 10 plus 2, and that is 12. Negative 11 minus 19 is negative 30. Now, let's simplify this. What can divide 12 and 30? Both numbers can be divided by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 30 divided by 6 is 5. And of course, positive divided by negative is negative. So the slope for number 1 is negative 2 fifths. Question number 2. 1, negative 19 and negative 2, negative 7. Our first pair is our x1, y1. Second pair, x2, y2. Now let's plug it into the formula. Our y2 is negative 7 minus y1 is negative 19 over x2, negative 2 minus x1, 1. Simplifying this, negative 7 minus negative 19 is the same thing as negative 7 plus 19, and that is 12. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And dividing 12 by negative 3, the answer is negative 4. So the slope is negative 4 or negative 4 over 1. Question 3. 3, 0, and negative 11, negative 15. Our first pair is our x1, y1. Second pair, x2, y2. And again, the formula for this slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
Now let's plug in the values. Our y2 is negative 15 minus y1 is 0 over x2 is negative 11 minus 3. Simplifying this, negative 15 minus 0 is negative 15. Negative 11 minus 3 is negative 14. Negative divided by negative is positive, so we have 15 over 14. Leave your answer as an improper fraction. So the answer for number 3 is 15 over 14. Question 4. 6, negative 10, and negative 15, 15. The first pair is our x1, y1. Second pair, x2, y2. So now let's plug in the values to the formula. Our y2 is 15 minus y1, negative 10. Over our x2 is negative 15 minus x1, that's 6. Simplifying this, 15 minus negative 10 is 15 plus 10, or that's 25. Denominator, negative 15 minus 6 is negative 21. We cannot simplify this fraction, and positive divided by negative is negative. So the slope is negative 25 over 21. Question 5. 19, 3 and 23. Our first pair is our x1, y1. A second pair is x2, y2. Now let's plug into the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Solving for m, we have y2 is 3 minus y1 is 3 over x2 is 20 minus x1, 19. Simplifying this, 3 minus 3 is 0, 20 minus 19 is 1. And what is 0 divided by 1? 0, right? So this means the slope here is 0. And if the slope is 0, that means you have a horizontal line. Question 6. 17, negative 13, and 17, 8. Our first pair is x1, y1, and the second pair is x2, y2. Now let's plug in the values to the formula. y2 is 8, minus y1 is negative 13, over x2 is 17, minus x1 is also 17. Simplifying this, 8 minus negative 13 is 8 plus 13, which is 21. 17 minus 17 is 0. And look at the difference of 5 and 6. For number 5, the numerator is 0, so the answer is 0. For number 6, denominator here is 0. If denominator is 0, that means that there's no slope or that is undefined. You cannot divide a number by 0. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.